learn how to solve a system of equations. And we're going to learn how to do this today by the elimination method. So let's get started with our first example. And let's say that I have this system of equations. 4x plus 6y equals 32. And my other equation is 3x minus 6y equals 3. Okay? So what I want you to notice is first I want you to notice the title of this lesson, and that is the elimination method. What we're doing is we are going to eliminate a variable. And the nice thing about uh, this first example is I want you to notice that the y terms in each equation are opposites. So look what we're going to do. We are going to add these two equations. 4x plus 3x is 7x. And the y terms disappear because positive 6 and negative 6 make 0. And this equals 35. So now I just have a simple equation with one variable. 7x equals 35. I can divide both sides by 7. And I find out that the x-coordinate of my solution is 5. But remember what we learned when we were graphing, when we were solving systems uh, with Desmos graphically. We're looking for this point of intersection. So I need an x and a y. So what we're going to do with this 5 is we need to plug it in to either, either one of these two original equations. I picked the top one. Okay, I've got it written here. And I'm going to plug this 5 in right there. And so I have 4 times 5 plus 6y equals 32. And look, I've eliminated the x, and now I've just got an equation with a y in it. So I have 20, 4 times 5 is 20, plus 6y equals 32. Follow my good algebra steps here to get y by itself, 6y equals 12. Divide both sides by 6. And my y-coordinate of this solution is 2. So I could say that the solution of this system is the point 5, 2. All right. Let's look at another one. Might not be quite as obvious. Let's say that I had 2x plus 5y equals 6, and I had 9y plus 2x equals 22. Now, the first thing I want you to notice is that the x terms are not lined up. So let's rewrite this second equation. Let's rewrite this system. Uh, well, I'll leave the top equation the way it is as 2x plus 5y equals 6. Well, let's change the order here. <clears throat> Pay attention to your signs. They're all positive here, so that's pretty easy. 2x plus 9y equals 22. You have to make sure your like terms are lined up. Okay. Now, the next thing I want you to notice is that I do not have opposites. Now, I'm kind of close, and here's how I fix this. I'm going to multiply this bottom equation by negative 1. And that is totally legal in algebra, so long as I do the same thing to both sides of the equation. So I distribute the negative 1 to the 2x, the 9y, and the 22. And I have negative 2x minus 9y equals negative 22. 
And the other equation, I'm just going to rewrite over here. Notice how I use these arrows. We'll do that some more later. 2x plus 5y equals 6. And now, look at my two equations. Now I have opposites. And now when I add these two equations again, remember what we're doing. We're adding the two equations. Those two x terms disappear. And I have negative 4y equals negative 16. 5y and negative 9y make negative 4y. 6 and negative 22 make negative 16. Now I can just finish solving it. And I find out that y equals positive 4. I remember, I still need to get an x coordinate. So I'll use this top equation again. 2x plus 5y equals 6. And I'll plug this y value in. And I have 2x plus 5 times 4 equals 6. So now I can solve it for the x value. 2x plus 20 equals 6. Subtract 20. Subtract 20. 2x equals negative 14. Divide both sides by 2. And x equals negative 7. So my solution to this system, remember it's a point of intersection, is negative 7, 4. All right, so these two lines up here intersect over here at negative 7, 4 someplace, whatever the lines look like. They intersect at that point. All right, one last thing real quick. If they give you a word problem, like this, the sum of two numbers is 15, and 3 times the first number minus the second number is 28. Okay, if they give you this word problem, this isn't bad. I just need to set up my system of equations. So look at this first one, the sum of two numbers. Well, how about x plus y is 15, equals 15. And look at that, I have my first equation. The second one is 3 times the first number. So how about 3x minus, minus the second number, which is y, is 28. And there we go. I have my system of equations, and I'm ready to eliminate a variable. I could, I'm just going to go with the first part of this one. I'm going to add these two equations, remember. x plus 3x is 4x, and my y terms go away. That's what we want. And this equals 43. And then I would solve it for x and plug into the other equation, just like we did on the first two examples. And I think you'll have some good success with that. And we will stop there for today.